Hi, busy bees. Hi. Um, we're crouched here in our hallway because in a minute we're going to show you how to make an animal shadow parade. Um, and we need to be in a place that gets kind of dark so that you can see the shadows from our flashlight pretty well. So um, in a minute, we're going to turn off the lights and show you how to do that. So I thought um, a couple reasons. Um, Mr. Burkett thought it might be fun to teach you guys about shadows and um, what happens when the light moves. And then I thought it'd be fun to use our animals that we're learning about. So I have our, a, a little tiger here um, that we're going to use to make our, <laughs> our animal, um, to show you how to make our shadow animal parade. Um, so you'll need animals. So if you have toy animals or stuffed animals, um, grab those, whoever you want to put in your parade, and then you'll need a flashlight if you're doing this inside. And then you'll need, we have a whiteboard like we have at school, and then we have the special markers for it. But um, you don't have to have a whiteboard to do this. You just need some paper. So maybe have mom or dad put up some paper for you. Um, and then you can make your shadow parade. So I think, are we ready for yep, the lights? ready for the lights. And then while Mrs. Burgett moves over here to get ready with the flashlight, one of the things that we're going to talk about is how shadows work. And so if you can see over here, you can see that as Mrs. Burkett shines the flashlight at the animal, back here on the back, you can see its shape. And so what I'm going to do, oh, and we have some more animals that are trying to come and be in this parade as well. Well, I'm going to take this marker and I'm going to very quickly trace the animal that we see and I'm going to draw out its shadow so that we can see how big this outline is. And then what we can talk about is when shadows appear, that's because Watch out, can you see? that's because the shadows are blocking the light. So the flashlight that Mrs. Burkett has is shining light, but the animal, the tiger, is blocking some of that light. Now, how big a shadow looks is always determined by how close or far the light is. So now Mrs. Berg is gonna do something. She's gonna move the flashlight closer, and if you look back here, if you watch the shadow, look at what's happening <laughs> in the shadow. There, I it's, think we can make it pretty big. We there. can make it really big. And what you can do now with your shadow parade, you can take another color or you can take maybe the same color and then you can draw again. You can trace out the outline of the second shadow and you can see how much bigger the tiger got this time. Hmm. And what we can learn from this is that now, because the light is so much closer, now the animal, the tiger, is blocking more light. And because it's blocking more light, we can see back here that its shadow got much bigger. So that's one way that shadows work. And as you can see, when we move the flashlight away, the shadow gets smaller again. So that's how shadows work. All right, so yeah, I think go ahead and turn those on and then um, I'll lean in, I guess. <laughs> no. um, so if you're inside, like if it's maybe a rainy day or a cloudy day, this is how you can make your shadow parade inside. But if it's a nice day and the sun is out, you can still take your animals. Um, if you have sidewalk chalk, you can use that. Or if you still want to use paper and like markers or crayons, you can do that. And you'll pick a spot um, in your yard somewhere or on the sidewalk and you'll put your animals down and you can, if you have a whole bunch, you can line them up in your parade. And then maybe you set this up in the morning and you trace them all in one color and then you go and you have um, lunch and then you come back. You should see if your animals got taller and bigger or maybe they got longer um, and wider. Um, and then you could trace them in a different color. And then you could even come back later, like before or after dinner and see if they changed again, or maybe if you can see them at all anymore. So um, two different ways that you can make your animal parade. And so if you make them, send us a picture so we can see it. Yeah. Bye, Busy Bees. Bye.